Now, at one point in time in, on day four, it looked like England had managed to turn the tables. They did fight very, very hard uh, on day four, but those two late wickets for India have swung things again the host way. But overall, you would say it's been a good day overall of Test cricket. Uh, yes, it has been. It has been quite absorbing, uh, certainly the first uh, session uh, where England bowled really well to dismiss uh, seven Indian uh, wickets. Uh, I, yes, I think the, uh, the, the, the first session was extended by about 20 minutes uh, mm. uh, once the ninth wicket fell. But I think England's performance over there was quite outstanding. Stuart Broad, uh, despite the fact that he's got uh, uh, a strained tendon in his leg, bowled and bowled with, with great heart. And uh, he's probably the reason why India find themselves, found themselves in that situation where it looked as if they could be dismissed uh, for maybe 160, which would have left uh, the uh, England to score only 360 or 370. Uh, but uh, some merry hitting by uh, Shami uh, and uh, good sensible batting by Jayanti Adho took India past that uh, 400, psychological 400 mark. Right, I'm glad, uh, Mr. Gavaskar, that you brought up the point of that India collapse. Why do you think that happened? Because they were, what, three down uh, after day three and then they were suddenly bowled out, those seven wickets going down very, very quickly. Uh, Virat Kohli, in fact, the only one to cross uh, the 30 run mark. Why do you think that collapse happened the way it did? I think the, the pitch, the ball was holding up a little bit and uh, Stuart brought bowled uh, excellently. I think. Uh, the, the leg cutters that he was bowling got first, uh, Ajinkya Rane, then uh, uh, Ravi Chandan Ashwin. So, I think uh, basically you've got to give credit to the England bowlers for utilising the pitch uh, a lot better than the Indian new ball bowlers have done when we, when we saw England come out uh, to chase the target of 404. So, uh, I, I think you know, the day actually belongs uh, to, to England. Uh, maybe India pulled it back by those two wickets towards the end of the day. But I think England, for the way they resisted with the bat, and the way they uh, co made uh, India collapse uh, uh, in, in, uh, in the morning. Right, you can of course expect the English to come out on day 5 and fight tooth and nail to try and save this match as Broad put it. That really is their aim as things stand right now. Uh, Mr. Gavaskar, the way the ball was turning on, on, in the third session uh, on day 4, do you think the spinners are now suddenly getting more purchase off the pitch? And why I'm asking that question is, is that what is expected then on day 5, a complete all-out spin show by India after the first couple of overs maybe? Yes, I think so. I think uh, towards the end, and you would expect that uh, uh, at the end of the fourth day, that there would be a lot more purchase for the spinners and the odd ball keeping low. So, batting is not going to be easy at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, England showed great uh, determination. Uh, the openers uh, batted for almost well, 50.4 50, 50 overs mm -hmm. before uh, they were separated by one that kept low. So, that is something that they'll have to watch out for tomorrow. Try and get as much in, uh, onto the front foot as possible mm -hmm. and try and smother the turn and uh, maybe look to score some runs as well because you score some runs you disperse the field around that's what we've seen happening uh, with the indian field uh, so uh, they'll they they they'll need to show a lot more determination pretty much the, the determination that the two openers showed Right, Mr. Gavaskar, you know, from the fans' perspective, it's interesting that India are playing England in a test series immediately after whitewashing the Kiwis. Because if you compare the two teams, and we've spoken about this in the past with you as well, sir, if you compare the two teams, New Zealand and England, of course, England are much more superior in terms of both their batting and their bowling. In that context, and because you're saying that day four belong to the English, would you say that the chances of a draw are pretty much completely out of the window, or can they still save this match given that they do have quite a lot of batting left? Still? to come well they bat uh, deep uh, but you know I think uh, they've got a, also a couple of batsmen uh, on whom they can't rely somebody like a Ben Duckett mm. has looked completely out of sorts uh, uh, in, in uh, against uh, Ashwin in both the test matches that we've seen so whether they send in Ben Stokes tomorrow ahead of uh, ahead of uh, Duckett may give him a little bit more protection uh, down the order will be interesting because act actually if they send Ben Stokes uh, it will be uh, sending a message to the Indians, look, we are not only just looking to, to save the game, but if Ben Stokes plays his shots like he did uh, uh, the, yesterday at the start of the uh, day's play, when he punched some uh, you know, fine shots off the back foot, stepped down the wicket and drove uh, Ashwin. You, they, it's like sending India a message, look, we are not just trying to save the game, we are trying to win the game as well. 
Absolutely. Of course, if you ask the Indian players and especially Virat Kohli, he will say that India has a very, very good chance, of course, of going out there and winning the match on day five. Uh, Mr. Gavaskar, I wanted to talk to you again about Virat Kohli's captaincy. We, of course, have been talking about that for a while since he became test captain. How impressive has Virat been as captain in this particular series? Again, because going back to that initial point, the English are a much tougher opposition uh, than the Kiwis. Well, I think today uh, he could have done a little bit better because he had 400 runs in the bank. Mm. And uh, today maybe he should have had some fielders in the close-in position catching. The moment Alistair Cook drove uh, um, Ravinder Jadeja for a four through the covers, he pushed that silly point back um, and to try and save the boundary. At this particular point, saving runs is not the important thing. You can concede runs, concede boundaries, but you must keep fielders in closing positions for that ball which is jumping and turning and from where there might be an inside edge onto the pad and it could go to the offside when your fielders are on the leg side. So I think that's something that he, he hopefully will have uh, looked at uh, at the end of, end of today's play. And uh, he does that, then uh, you know India should win uh, quite comfortably. But otherwise, uh, there will be situations where there will be a bit of a stand and he'll have to show a little more patience as well.